hello student welcome to the one more session of uh, microcontroller and embedded lab laboratory this is osan naik from kendra engineering college in this session we will see how to interface dc motor to lpc 2148 kit lpc 2148 kit is based on arm 7 tdmi processor so this is the program we will try to execute the program by using keel software and at the end of the program you will see the demonstration of how to interface a dc motor to the lpc 2148 so before going to the program let me explain some of the basic things related to dc motor so dc motor is any class of uh, rotary electrical motors that converts direct current electrical energy into mechanical energy so it converts the direct current and electrical energy into mechanical rotation energy or rotation the most common types rely on the forces produced by the magnetic fields so this is the motor you see here this is the motor let me this is the dc motor schematic of the dc motor inside the dc motor this is the actually this is the uh, stator part of the motor and this is the rotor part this is actually armature this is called as armature so stator part contains north pole and south pole that north pole and south pole north pole and south pole and when you pass the current to this armature because of the magnetic field this armature rotates this rotates so so this is the uh, schematic uh, internal view of the dc motor this is the uh, stator part actually it contains north pole and south pole and we have armature this armature will rotate and this armature we are going to there, there, there are two connection from this armature we are going to connect this to the uh, lpc 2148 based microcontroller so in the diagram you can see there are two connections from the armature which will be connected to the uh, two pins on the lpc 2148 for the explanation purpose we have taken here port 0 pin number 11 and port 0 pin number 8 one end of the armature is connected to port 0 pin number 11 and port 0 other end is connected to port 0 pin number 8 so this is the typical diagram You you see here normally DC motor you cannot connect directly to the LPC two one four eight controller. It should be connected through DC motor driver IC. So L L two nine three D is a DC motor driver IC. So DC motor is connected to the DC motor driver IC. That is the driver module. From the driver module you will connect two connection to the LPC two one four eight in the diagram. 0.8 is connected to 1A and 0.11 is connected to 2A. These are the two connections, two connections of LPC 2148. Now, uh, for the explanation purpose, as example, we have taken the pin number 0.11 and uh, pin number 0, port number 0.11 and port number 0.8. So. Uh, in the actual demonstration we have used different pins that is pin number port number 0.16 and port number 0.19 but for the explanation purpose i have taken port number 0.11 and port number 0.8 so if this both pins are 0 0 that is these both pins are taken as output port output pin output port or uh, sorry output pin and uh, if it is 0 0 motor will remain off if it is uh, 1 0 it the motor will rotate in clockwise direction if it is 0 1 motor will rotate in uh, anti clockwise uh, direction so uh, now you need to understand gpio registers so uh, uh, gpio register what we use here so here we use GPIO register IO zero DIR. What is this IO zero DIR? IO zero DIR is used. It is a thirty-two bit register used to set, set uh, the particular pin direction. Like you can configure the particular pin of the port zero as either input port, uh, input pin or output pin. 
So according to our application, we need need to configure pin 0 0.8 and pin 0 0.11. So if you start from here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you need to configure both pin as an output. So you need to write 1 and 1 on the both pin. When you write 1 and 1 and if you convert the rest of the pins, I will set it as a 0. Then 0 means rest of the pins are as a input pin and this pin acts like a output pin. So then the final value you will get, hexadecimal value you will get 0000900. Now, other than that, you need to use clear IO clear, IO zero clear. This is the 32 bit register. If you write something in this register as a one, then that particular bit will be cleared. So, if you want to see well, during the uh, when you want to uh, switch off the motor, you need to write, uh, you need to clear bit zero port zero uh, pin number eight and port zero pin number eleven. You need to clear port 0 pin number 8 and port 0 pin number 11. For that you need to write uh, on the corresponding uh, bit of IO0 clear register 1 and 1. If you write 1 and 1 that particular bit will be cleared. If you write 1 and 1 then the particular bit will be cleared and uh, that time motor action will be off. Now IO set register, IO set register is used to set the value. So depending on the requirements for clockwise rotation, you need to set 1 and 0 that is 1 and 0 and the corresponding value is 0x00080 and for anti-clockwise rotation, the value you have to set is 0 and 1. The corresponding value is 0x00100. These two things you need to understand to rotate the motor. In the clockwise direction, you need to write in IO zero set register this value, and to rotate the motor in anti-clockwise direction, you need to write IO zero set register this value. Now we will proceed to the program part. So uh, in our uh, in our uh, program, we have designed the IO0 DIR and uh, IO0 DIR according to uh, the, the according to the design given by the manufacturer of the kit. So according to the design given by the manufacturer of the kit, we are going to connect DC motor to FRC1 connector on the FRC1 connector on the board. So let me show you the board architecture. So this is the board architecture, uh, LPC, it is based on LPC2148 uh, control microcontroller, you can see here LPC2148 microcontroller and we have uh, 5 uh, FRC connectors are there, FRC is nothing but flat ribbon cable connector. So all the connectors, 4 connectors are FRC1, FRC3, 4, 5 are 10 pin and FRC2 is 16 pin. So in FRC1, we need to connect a DC motor model to the FRC1. So this is the pin number 1 and this is the pin number 2, 3, uh, so this is the pin number 1. And the corresponding pin details we will see in FRC1 pin configuration. We will move to the FRC1 pin configuration. So this is the FRC1 pin configuration, pin number 1 is 16. Pin number 2 is 17, 3 is 18, 4 is 19, 5 is 20, 6 is 21, 7 is 22, 8 is 23, 9 is 5 volt and 10 is ground. So what we do is uh, we need to connect two wires from the uh, driver IC of the DC motor to FRC connector. So the, uh, the two pins which, uh, for which we are going to connect the armature are pin number 16 and 19. So you need to configure pin number 16 and 19 as a output pole, output pin. So you need to configure the direction of pin number 16 and 19 as a output. So let me show you first the IO 
directory zero register in our case is like you see it is a 32 bit register so so i will configure pin number 16 and 19 as output port so when you configure 16 and 19 as a output pin and rest of the all are input pin that is pin num this is bit number 0 or bit number 0 of the io directory zero register and this is bit number 31 and uh, 16th pin i will configure as a output direction and 19th pin i will configure as output direction so when you convert this entire this one into hexadecimal you will get 0 0 0 nine zero 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 so i need to write in io dir zero register is equal to zero x zero 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 nine zero 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 so so let me explain the program so we need to connect the dc motor module to the frc1 connector by using frc cable now First, include the header files for LPC2148 board by using LPC2148H file. So, LPC2148X is a generic header file which can be used for 4X board, 214X board. Then, I have three prototype for the function that I am going to define later. One is uh, clockwise, other one is anti-clockwise. Uh, both are uh, void type, type void, and it will not take any argument uh, or parameters. Uh, the, the third one is uh, delay, which is a void type. It will return nothing, but it will take the argument as a, a integer value as an argument uh, or parameter. Then I have taken one variable j of type int uh, is equal to zero. Now, in the main function, first uh, in the main function. I will set IO0 DIR register with this value as explained earlier. Then in the while loop, I will call clockwise function. Then I will give some delay. Then I will call anti-clockwise function. Then I will give some delay. So this is, this is not required as because we have written this statement in the function itself. So this is not required. So let us see now the function. The clockwise uh, function First, I will switch off the motor. So, uh, before you rotate the motor either in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, you need to switch off the motor and give some delay. So, what I will do is, uh, I will switch off the motor by using IO0 clear register with this value as explained earlier. Then I will call delay. Then I will uh, set the motor to uh, rotate in the clockwise direction. Similarly, for anti-clockwise, uh, I will first switch off the motor by using IO0 clear. Then I will uh, call the delay and I will set the motor to rotate in the anti-clockwise direction by giving this value. Now what is there in the delay? So in the delay, so we have nested loop here. Nested loop here, whatever uh, argument you pass to the delay function will be taken here. And uh, this, uh, the, this for loop will uh, repeat, this for loop will uh, continuously repeat uh, these many times to generate uh, delay of uh, uh, particular uh, time amount so students this is a this is the program so now we'll see how to execute this program in the kill software so let me switch on the kill software I have microvision 4 keel microvision 4 version so in this one in this one I will first open the project because I have already created the project so I will go to open project and in that I will select the hardware folder in the hardware folder I have created separate folder for the separate experiment so in fact I have created the main folder like hardware and software in hardware we have i have stored sub, i have created a separate folder for each experiment so i will i will go to the experiment number 11 so here sorry it is experiment number 10 so let me go to experiment number 10 so here we have a project dc motor i will open that project so when you open that project the particular file will uh, file will be uh, file has opened particular file has opened here you can see the particular file that is the that is the program for dc motor 
so in you new first only thing is your you need to remember that you need to add startup.s because you are going to execute the program which is written in embedded c which requires startup.s other than that uh, before compiling the program you need to do some settings in the target folder so in the target option so the settings are first you need to select a device lpc2148 then target in the target option you need to enable micro lib and uh, uh, um, uh, this crystal frequency should be 12 megahertz in the output you need to select uh, create exa file you need to enable this option this will be disabled you need to enable this option under listing uh, this will be disabled c processing listing you need to enable it under user no changes under c++ no changes then under link uh, this will be disabled you need to enable this one so once this is done you need to compile the program so you should get zero errors and zero warnings then you need to build the program so it will create the exa file uh, uh, under the name of dc motor project that is the under the name of project itself uh, then if you want you can rebuild it uh, rebuild it once this is done then you need to transfer this file uh, transfer this exa uh, uh, file so the exa file is created let us see whether uh, the the exa file where it is created i will go to the particular folder in my uh, drive i will select i will go to the folder hardware and 11th experiment sorry so it is 10th experiment in the 10th experiment here exa file dc motor prj dot exa file it has created the exa file this file we are going to dump into the controller by using flash magic so so you need to open the flash magic and simultaneously you need to do the hardware connection by connecting the dc motor module to the lpc2148 in the flash magic uh, you need to select the device then you need to select the com port to see the com port you need to go to my computer properties device manager in the device manager once you connect the lpc2148 to the board you can check the com port right now i don't have lpc2148 board with me because of uh, lockdown so once you connect the lpc2148 uh, this will list the com port in the device manager so normally it is normally it will be port 3 only so you need to select the com, com port then you need to select the baud rate baud rate should be minimum 9600 uh, 9600 so i will select 19200 then interface should be non isp oscillator frequency is 12 megahertz then after that you need to select the file so go to the particular experiment uh, that is experiment number 10 in my case experiment number 10 and i will select the exa file after that you need to en enable the option like erase the block used by the exa file this will uh, before loading the exa file into the flash memory it will erase uh, the block used by the earlier exa file then it will uh, the, this option will verify after transmitting that file to the board controller it will verify whether it is the file has been transmitted properly or not after that you need to click on start this will transmit this will transfer the file from exa file from your computer to the lpc2148 board microcontroller that is the flash rom to the on the microcontroller so here here uh, uh, for time being i will show you uh, how to execute this program by uh, by clicking on debug when you click on debug uh, it will go to debug mode now in debug mode uh, let me go to peripherals and let me open this uh, interface uh, that is gpio slow interface for port 0 because we have used port 0 in our case and let me execute the program when you execute the program you can see here bit 16 and bit 19 will be enabled it's enabled here like uh, io 0 directory is enabled uh, you can see here io 0 directory bit uh, 16 and bit 19 we made as output uh, then io set uh, like bit this 19 bit will be enabled for some time after that 16 bit will be enabled for clockwise and uh, anti clockwise so this bit will be enabled for the clockwise and this bit will be enabled for the anti clockwise it will give some delay after that it will enable this bit so you can see this one 
So this is the program how you execute DC motor. Along with this program, I will attach the video captured in the lab. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. Hello student, now you will see how to interface uh, a DC motor to LPC2148. So we have a DC motor here. DC motor is connected to the driver circuit and driver circuit is connected to FRC1 of our kit which contains LPC218 based microcontroller. So this is the LPC2148 LPC which is based on ARM7 microcontroller. So this is the program to run the DC motor in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. So this is the program as explained earlier. So let me take you to Keel version 4. So here you can see the program. I have already added the program to the group and I have also added the startup.s. Let me uh, compile this program. It shows zero errors and zero warnings. Let me build and uh, rebuild the program. It has created the exa file. So now let me transfer this exa file by using flash magic. This is the flash magic tool which we are using to dump the exa file to the microcontroller. Microcontroller. Before dumping the file, let me switch on the board. So board is on. Now let me transfer the file by clicking on start button before clicking on the start button let me select the file this is the exa file of dc motor open this file and click on start button it will transfer the file from the pc to the microcontroller once it transfers it will give the warning like finished uh, finished message so it has transferred transmitted the file now you can see here we have dc motor connected which will run both in clockwise and anti clockwise direction. In this way you can interface a DC motor to the LPC2148 microcontroller. Thank you.